This is a full CS2 FPS guide, so the best Steam settings, NVIDIA settings, drivers, and CS2 in-game settings. This is how you make an autoexec.efg file for CS2. Just follow my steps. Go into your library and write. Click on CS2, select properties, and go into the files. Click on game, CSGO, and CFG. Now make a new text document named autoexec.cfg. Open the text file and you can put any command you would like. Now to make sure the autoexec opens head into launch options and type plus slash autoexec.cfg. And all the commands will be in the description. Like and subscribe and I hope you guys found this guide helpful. Just follow these steps to maximize performance. Disable live broadcasts. and click on Steam and Settings. Go down to Friends and Chat. Disable Enable Animated Avatars. Go to Notifications and Copy My Settings. You can change these for personal preference. Go to Interface and choose No Beta and Disable Steam on Startup and disable these three settings. Now go to Library and enable Low Bandwidth Mode and Low Performance Mode. Disable Community Content. Now go to Downloads and clear Download Cache. Head into Remote Play and follow my steps and the same with Broadcast. Go and verify your game files. Now open GeForce Experience and download the latest drivers. 
open NVIDIA control panel and copy all my settings for the best performance. Hello guys, this is the best CS2 launch options that actually works for CS2. Every launch option will be in the description and explained. Just follow my steps and copy the launch options. These are the launch options plus exec autoexec.efg. Refresh 240, no joy plus violence. Underscore hblood zero plus r underscore draw particles zero. Thread seven, high plus fps underscore max zero. Allow underscore third underscore party underscore software, UW 1280, and to H960. Hello guys, today I am showing the new Beta NVIDIA app. You can overclock for GPU for a little performance boost. First download the NVIDIA app, just search NVIDIA app in your browser and choose the NVIDIA website and hit download beta. When you have downloaded it, open the app and head into system and performance. Then enable the automatic optimizing and make sure you have nothing else than your NVIDIA app open. This process will take some time. When it's done, just close down the app. You can also change all of your graphics settings within the app, as well as updating your graphics card drivers. Thank you for watching. Hello guys, this is a quick guide on the best CS2 settings with the new update for V-Sync and G-Sync. Go into video and copy these settings. Display mode, full screen aspect ratio, 4.3, resolution, 1290x960, refresh rate. Use the highest you can. Now, advanced video. If you want a smooth experience without stutters, Enable V-Sync, G-Sync, and NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. If you want the best FPS, disable V-Sync, but leave G-Sync and NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency enabled plus boost. After just copy my video settings for the best FPS. Hello guys, this is how to play stretched resolution in CS2 and the best resolution for FPS and gameplay. Just follow these quick steps.
This is how to make your CS2 more colorful. Just follow these steps. Open NVIDIA Control Panel. And in the left panel choose Adjust Desktop Color Settings. Go down to Digital Vibrance and Gamma. Change to your liking. After hit Apply and open up CS2. In CS2 open up the console and type our full screen gamma and write a number you think looks good. Mine is 2.5. Thank you for watching. This is how to improve your CS2 trust factor, just follow these steps. First, set up your Steam account and make sure you have bought Prime status. If you have done that, play CS2 regularly and report suspicious activity, this will make your trust factor go up. If you have done these steps and you want a quick trust factor boost, go in a CS2 casual game and ask this in the chat, commend for commend people will most likely commend you and just make sure to commend them back. This last step is the most important. Always be a good teammate and make sure to be a friendly player.